So we're back with another software update. It seems like they're knocking these out a little quicker than they were before, but at the same time, they're not really doing much with these uh, software updates. And quite frankly, I, I can't really get excited for them anymore because I don't have a Quest 3, I have a Quest 2. And it seems as if the updates are really for Quest 3. I mean, they do say that some of them work with Quest 2, but it doesn't really... It, it seems almost as if the Quest 2 is done. There's still a lot to do with Quest 2. And at some point, I'm probably going to uh, upgrade to Quest 3. Hopefully, uh, I don't do that when Quest 4 comes along because that would just uh, defeat the whole purpose of getting a newer headset. That aside, let's check this out. So, software update version 65. I have not up, uh, updated it yet. Uh, I actually just checked it a little while ago and saw that it was available. So, notice the file size doesn't seem very big. Um, I'll stare at this so that you can read it. But as uh, from what I see, it, it doesn't really, I don't think it really does much at least for the Quest 2. Um, pass through improvements. I still think that's probably for Quest 3 because Quest 2 is pretty much, you know, it, it reaches limit when it comes through to the pass through. Uh, multiplayer, boundary recall. I wouldn't really be able to test that. I don't have an iPhone, so I can't test that either. Uh, let's, let's actually see what's going on here. Okay, MetaQuest release notes. So, week of April 30th. Um, so this is actually, it probably started coming out a while ago. Uh, at least a week ago. I just didn't get it. Alright, MetaQuest build 65 release. Please so push to MetaQuest 3 Pro and 2 headsets. Yeah, okay. If you have an iPhone, I don't. You can now upload panoramic photos or spatial video to your Quest headset using the MetaQuest mobile app. Okay. Pass-through improvements. You'll, you'll now see your pass-through environment instead of the default gray background. Around for some system menus and prompts when you're using pass-through in Horizon Home. Uh, I, don't f I don't fuck with Horizon Home. So I don't really know what that's all about. Mouse and keyboard improvements. Again, I don't I don't fuck around with that stuff, so I don't I don't know what how I, I can't there's nothing to gauge it against. Mm -hmm. But hey, maybe you're using it, maybe you haven't got the update yet. So this is what you can look forward to. When using a physical keyboard or mouse with your headset, you should now see fewer interruptions from hand tracking, including when these devices are can oh okay. Didn't know that that was a problem. Uh, local multiplayer and boundary recall with meta visual positioning system. Okay. Two player allows multiple VR devices to play in the same physical space in a common. I mean, okay. Again, I don't really, because I don't have, I don't use this like that. I, I really can't compare it to anything. I can't see an improvement. Uh, but apparently this is going to be an improvement. Okay. Travel mode. Quest 3 and Quest 2 only. So no Quest Pro. With travel mode on MetaQuest 3 and Quest 2, you can interact, work, and play in MR while on an airplane and also access in-flight entertainment. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I haven't done... A lot of traveling in the last few years um, and I don't really plan on traveling so I I, I I can't again I can't compare this to anything but I'm assuming this means that you can like connect to the Wi-Fi I guess on the plane and be able to use you know whatever stuff they have you know uh, on the flight while you're using uh, your headset once you enable travel mode from experimental in settings, you can turn it on or off anytime. Okay. You may also see a message to turn on travel mode if you try to use your headset while on a plane. Learn more about travel mode. 
uh, just for the sake of whoever's watching this, maybe you're, maybe this is something that uh, will be informative uh, for you. Again, this, you know, this is not really affecting me, but let's click on this, see what happens. Travel mode on quest, on meta quest. Okay, updated a day ago. All right, so maybe this is pretty new. Uh, with travel mode on meta quest 3 and 2, you can interact. Uh, this is the same bullshit that we just read. Uh, you may also see, yep. Okay, so it's just it's just giving you very specifics on how to access it. Um, you can pause it, the video if you need to, to read this. All right. Travel mode does not support MetaQuest Pro or Touch Pro controllers. That's odd. Why why wouldn't it do that? Travel mode is currently only supported on airplanes and not other modes of transportation. Some MetaQuest experiences require Wi-Fi connectivity, which may need to be purchased from your airline. Yeah. Safety tips here. Do not rely on your boundary as you normally would. Okay, I mean, that's kind of common sense. Be considered by selecting content that fits your space and stay aware. Yeah, you don't want to punch the guy in the, in the seat next to you by accident. Select content that fits your surroundings, stay safe and have fun. But as I said, it doesn't really seem like, um, at least not, not something I can gauge, but I will update and see if, uh, if anything is noticeable because they like to sneak in little little things here and there that they don't actually mention um, so let's let's do our normal thing or well, what has become a normal thing okay we got this going on all right uh, let's see physical space okay We'll see if that changes. Uh, and let's double check, see if there's any... Okay, there's no new environments. Fair enough. Let's take a good look at how this looks. Because I swear every time they do an update, they change. They make little changes. But it could also just be my imagination. And you might be wondering what time it is. Yes, it's 12 a.m. Which... Honestly, it's kind of early for me uh, when I do these videos. All right, I think we're good. So let's update now. Update software version. Uh, yeah. Okay. So of course it's going it's going to download this, and then I'm going to have to restart, which means I'm going to have to close out. So when that happens, you know, I'll. I'll end the video and then I'll come back and it'll be like not even a second for you guys. But there it is. Um, I just got to hit restart, which means I do have to stop the video, the uh, recording. So we'll come back in just a couple of seconds and see if there's anything noticeable, any noticeable changes. Because I'm, I'm not about to jump on a plane just to try and see if this thing works. Um, just assume it does. But we'll see if there's any other changes that we can see right now. You know, and sometimes they change the icons a little bit and change how things are set up. So we'll we'll do that. Okay, so we're back once again. Did the restart, and um, as it was restarting, it, it showed this little icon that I don't actually know what it's supposed to look like, but it kind of looks like a floppy disk almost with some like bars on it and an error or something um, some of you probably don't <laughs> don't even know what a floppy disk is anyway point is it took a couple minutes to actually restart and then when it did um, it threw me here it kept my skybox the hand tracking is getting really stupid but I think it's because I'm in a room where the lighting is kind of weird but anyways um, it kept my skybox but it, it threw me back and it does this almost every time they do an update. It throws me into this uh, default um, home environment. And 
all right so let's let's go through the uh, the process I don't like how it's tracking right now so I'm just gonna use the controllers so let's go here okay 65 now so we got the latest update version and it would have been nice honestly it would have been nice but no they still they still haven't brought that function back i really liked it the, the having those little points that are actually on a seat and we can't go back there we still can't go back there anymore nor can we come over here that kind of sucks I'm, I'm and notice how much space we have to move around here but in the other environments we don't like they really dropped the ball on that um, let's check it out so the icons are the same this seems to be the same what do we got here um, this has not changed anything changed here when it has a blue dot I'm assuming it means that they that it's been updated right it didn't have a blue dot before so they added something to that or I don't know none of these other ones this has this has a blue dot now too so maybe they updated something to this as well I don't know we'll jump in there and check it out in a minute it said that you would in, that you would turn it on in here and then once you turned it on here then you'd be able to go into this and be able to turn it on and off live captions was that always a thing I I don't remember that being a thing Maybe it was, and I just never bothered to uh, to notice. I don't think anything changed here either. If they updated something on this, it's so... You know, it's something so minor that I don't really notice. But all right. Maybe they didn't update anything. Maybe that blue dot there means something else. I, I really don't know. So far, a whole lot of nothing. That That's what I'm seeing. So I'm just going to restart it one more time, just in case. See if we get the little icon here. All right. We'll try one more time. Let's uh, let's check out the the guide. See that has a blue dot next to it. I'm assuming the blue dot means that something's been updated recently. Let's see what's new. <laughs> As you can see, they're still up to sixty-two. So they haven't really updated anything. I... I don't know. I try not to shit on this so much. I mean, I don't want to. But... Because I don't want to seem like a... Like I'm ungrateful or anything like that. There we go. Look at that. I don't know why that got me excited, but it did. Look, see, now it says enable travel mode. So add travel mode to quick settings so you can turn it on and off while on the go. Travel mode helps you your headset work on airplanes so you can interact, work and play in your headset while traveling. OK. All right. So again, I haven't been on a plane in years and I'm probably not going to get on a plane anytime soon. It's just not in in, the, you know, it's not in my uh, my daily routine right now to be able to do stuff like that but i'm gonna turn it on anyway 
Let's see what it does. Use trap mode. Yeah. Quick settings. And there's travel mode. So there you go. Uh, so there's your little travel mode. Use travel mode on airplanes. Turn it on. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, this is... What, what just happened? That was weird. That was so weird. I don't know if it, sh it... It couldn't have shown it. It was like I was in between pass-through and this normal environment. It was like a ghost of my room was also in... was also here. That was really weird, actually. Let's see what happens when we turn it off. If it happens again. I don't know what you're seeing, but every time I go on and off, it, it, it goes black for a minute. And now it's showing my pass-through again, asking me to turn this on. Alright. So that's as much as I can... as I can do. Um, how about we put travel mode on, but then also turn on pass-through. Alright, it's, it's the same shit as, as if I was just, you know, like, it is, it's nothing, nothing different. So, alright. So, I don't know what this actually does, other than... Um... I guess it's it recognizes that you're on a plane. I really don't know what else it does. So... Like, the actual... Um... Like, like the actual technology part of it I don't know or the functionality part I don't really know what it does um, other than it just makes it I guess easier for you to use it on a plane but aside from that like I, I don't know how it does that but that's it that's uh, that's version so 65 yeah that's version 65 for you so, yeah. so if you are lucky enough to actually, you know, travel and you you spend a lot of time on an airplane and and you actually use this thing and you were struggling before, maybe now it's going to work better. Or maybe not. I don't know. Honestly, though, um, I am kind of surprised that they came up with a whole nother version so quick and that it is also for the quest 2 because honestly I don't see what else they can what else they can do it's just a matter of time before they completely stop making games for it or apps for it uh, just like they did with the quest 1 so you know we'll see hopefully we get a few more years out of it um, and honestly though if I'm going to upgrade, I'm not going to upgrade to the Quest 3. I'll upgrade to whatever comes after. That's what I got for you. That's version 65. And uh, yeah. So if you found this video enjoyable, informative in any way, why not hit the like button? Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, with any luck, I will see you in the next video. And until then, take care.